much steadier already today, eh, Kathy? Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, it's a ton of these transitions, right? And like a halt rain back for him, maybe not near all the auditors, until you start to feel like that wither really comes under your seat. Right, so I would play a little today too with the uh, diagonal pairs versus lateral pairs of these two horses. These horses are good pairing actually. So your lateral pairs, that's your right hind, right front, left hind, left front. You guys can hear me? Horses move like camels. They move their right side, then their left side. Their right side, then their left side. When you're trotting, the right hind is pushing the right front into the air. The left hind is pushing the left front into the air. That I can't help you with. No. I'm not a tech, I've got no technical skills. Karen Sergey said it was happening this morning too. Yeah, so maybe there's another one. Is there another one, Jan? I don't know. Is, is there another one? I'll go find out. Do you want me to do that one? Or do you sure. want, I can go. I, well, I just turned it off, so. Okay. Right, so when you guys think of your lateral pairs, right hind, right front, Jan's left hind, check left and front, and, and you think of how a camel paces, horses pace in four beats, three beats, or two beats. They still move their entire one side of their body, then the other entire side. So when they pace in two beats, right hind pushes right front, left hind pushes left front, they're in trot. You want to make those two beats as clean as possible. So Kathy, think, right side pushes right front up, left side pushes left front up. Go a bit forward, let her push, 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 push. So that's a cleaner trot. You feel that's truer in its two beats? When she loses her balance forward, she's losing the balance of her wither. So your elbow has to come back as you push her more forward. Yep, and now bring the wither back under you again, Kathy, on the right, oh, wither, like that. Now you push her in two clean beats in this, there you go. So that's your trot better. You feel where you are there? You don't want to push them out of balance, but you want to make sure, like a train on a track, the right hind is connected to the right front, the left hind is connected to the left front. That will always be your straightness. So even when you start pairing diagonals for like shoulder in, travair, ronvair, half passes and leg yields, the mechanic of how they're moving is still like a robot, right side, left side. So even if I am in shoulder in and I'm pairing my direction, can you watch this for a second, Kathy? I'm pairing my direction, <coughs> left hind pushing right front, so I'm going sideways. They're still moving, left side, right side, left side, right side, left side, right side, left side, right side. You have to feel that lateral alignment within the diagonal alignment. Uh -huh. yeah. So you have to keep working on both. So if you feel like you have no power or no steering or no alignment, it's your lateral pairs. Right hind, right front, left hind, left front. If you feel like you can't get shoulder in, Traver, Ronver, sideways, it's your diagonal pair. Shoulder four is the basic diagonal pair. Inside hind, outside shoulder, outside rein. So that's what you're after. Is that better? 
Oh, oh, this one's working, so I'm going to go with it for a bit. If not, then I'll pull it out. All right. Whatever you want. Right. How, whatever you <laughs> Just put it on the bit and ride it, okay, Karen? You got it. Peace. And the key to the diagonal pairs is limiting them to the three tracks. If you push them to four tracks, you cannot hold the shoulder uphill anymore. Good. That hourglass shape on the right rein, Kathy. Whoa, shape her neck. Tell her your girl. Perfect. So when you add your leg yields a bit, Kathy, you start your diagonal pairs, huh? Good boy. Good. Well done, Karen, huh? So, Karen, when I look at that trot, there are five trots. There's Piaf, Passage, Collected Trot, Medium Trot, Extended Trot. They're all a trot gait. They all are uphill. They all feel like you're trotting. The difference is how fast in miles per hour you're going and the tempo you're going in. So if you slow that tempo down more, Karen, that it's even slower. Pull your elbow back. That's a passage tempo. Feel where you are? Yep. You're trotting in like a slow one, two, one, two, one, two, right? Now you're going to speed it up to a trot one. You might have to post. And that's a trot. Yeah, fine. Mm -hmm. Left train. And now you got to practice. You're not going to have all five gates perfect with him, but that you are aware of which one you're in. Because when you hold him in that passage trot too much, He's going to get more and more stuck in the back. you got to be able to get to your trot. Because even your piaf is a trot on the spot. Not The passage is the one in the slower rhythm. Even a piaf would be this rhythm, so uphill, that it's so hard for him to push you that he's on the spot pushing you. Okay. Right? So as you take him more uphill now, he should collect his speed, but not necessarily his tempo. So his speed is how many miles per hour. When you go so uphill that you're going zero miles per hour in this tempo, you will be piaffing. Oh, that's good. That's good. So if you went to a horse show, Karen, you, and the requirement was that you were trotting a 20 meter circle, it would be at least this trot, huh? So now go back to your passage tempo. Take his wither back. Yep, push. Take it back more, more, more. More. Tell him good boy. So that's the mechanic of him lifting his shoulder. Good. That you want to maintain when you go back to your trot again. So this involuntary reaction, when you really get his wither back, he's going to do this, Karen. He's going to pick up his knee. So look at his wither. Take your elbow back. Come back to that passage. Little tap. Whoa. He's going to go half as fast. On the right. Whoa. Whoa. Pull your elbows back. Pull your elbows back. Yeah, come good boy. Let him figure it out. That's how uphill you want his front end when you trot it. You know where you are? Yep. And now you're going to let him trot. Yep, keep going. Tell him good boy. Well done. Well done. And now you're going to try, try to get your medium trot with his wither this up. Yep, push. Left leg, push, push, push again, Karen. Left leg, go. Get your extended trot. Yeah, it's fine. Just lower his neck a little. Then he stays on the bit and his shoulder stays up. Tell him good boy. Yep, and go. And now take your elbow back, Karen. Come back to your passage trot. Tell him good boy. That's the front end you want in your extended trot. You don't want to give the wither forward when you, that's excellent, when you tell the hind leg to push you in a quicker rhythm and more forward. You got to hold the wither where it is, and you got to hold, yeah, rounder on your left ring. You got to hold the roundness where it is. Yep, drop his neck a tiny bit so he can come through his neck. Tell him good boy. And now without giving your elbow or your wrist away, post him into a medium trot. 
Hold it good there. Now go. Go. Push from behind. Go. 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 Yep. Tell him good boy. And then collect them again. Well done. And now go again. Yep. Go. Post high. Tell him, yeah, almost. You're so close. Just drop his neck. Yep. Post high. Tell him good boy. Well done. Well done. And really, this is his trot. You see where you are? <laughs> so trying to feel that you can balance on that trot. So now try to balance yourself on the bicycle seat on that trot. Hang your legs, sit carefully. Yep, move more carefully. Trot again. And now try to sit it, Karen. Stay forward, stay with him. Stay with him. Tell him good boy. Excellent. You did walk pet him there, huh? That's his trot. <laughs> so what are you doing? That's his trot. And then you give him a break, you do it again. But you don't feel like you're stifling him to put him in a frame. You're riding him to put him in the frame. Okay. You know? And it's not that you can't do that massage, but it's got to come because you actually asked for that collection, not because you stuck. Okay. Yeah? All right, Kathy, let's warm up her canter a little bit. Trot looks good, huh? So go on your circle, take your time. Right rein, square, bring her back under you, bring her back under you, with her under you. Say the word and just let her canter once each way. That was a girl. Yep, hands down. Push, you gotta push, push, push. And now ride a halt. Ride a halt, and then you're gonna ride a rein back, bring the wither back, take your time. And now you're gonna let her push into trot and into canter. Careful with your hands. I agree with the giving, but you don't have to throw your hands at her ears. You just have to get her pushing again. Yep, tell her good girl. Perfect, and now see if she, you can keep your balance pushing you into canter. Yeah, I would go on a circle. I would go on a circle. Yep, I would go on a circle. Well done. Well done. And stay right there. Push, 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 push. Small hip, small hip. Push, yep. So when you're steering her, remember you're trying to steer her at the girth. Right leg, put some weight in your left iron. Yep, push with your right leg. Put weight in your left iron. Doesn't matter, walk. Walk on your right rein, walk on your right rein, pull it hard. Well, that's, that wasn't pulling hard, that was leaning back. So when you pull, when you pull, look at me, you pull like this. Not throw your body back like that, because all you do is then push hard back down into her back. When something is out of balance, when something is out of balance, Balance usually isn't that far away. So this is S. S is in balance. S is out of balance. 